we're here with a very young entrepreneur, <laughs> Mr. Jason Wong. Can I see your idea? You're allowed to be here. I'm yeah. Just <laughs> I'm just so. saying. <laughs> What's up? How are you? I'm good. How's you? Yeah. yeah you've, good. Been, you've been a businessman for a long time. Um, for about five, six years now. Whew. How old are you? Yeah. 20. What? Five, six years now. <laughs> yeah. It's Hold not, on. Okay. What? Okay. So wait. You were telling us earlier when we just met, you were from Hong Kong originally, mm -hmm. and then where did you go from there? So when I was eight, my mom and I moved to New York. Yeah! <laughs> you're from New York? York? Yeah. Um, so we lived in Manhattan, and then in Brooklyn, and then we moved to like other states like Indiana, Florida, Ooh. and then my mom moved to Canada to resettle with like, you know, she got remarried. Mm -hmm. And it was around that time that I really got into business because um, I was living with my uncle with my mom while my mom was with um, her new husband. And I realized that I needed to start a business or else that, you know, there's really no viable future for me to go into because, you know, I don't have a parent to depend on. And yeah, that's really how I got into like selling candies in school <laughs> and then selling like, you know, sunglasses to shoes and then moving that onto like clothing. And then I started a marketing agency and just like went up from there, you know? Yes. You started a marketing agency at mm -hmm. what age? 15. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't even know what marketing was at oh I'm not even gonna lie. So, so I started like, you know, like Instagram marketing before there was really Instagram mm -hmm. marketing. And then it was way before like Snapchat. So when Snapchat came out, we got into Snapchat. So like, you know, that went different stuff. Talk about ahead of the uh -huh. curve, oh boy. <laughs> I, I think I just started early. It's, mm -hmm. you know. And what, what, your marketing company, what kind of stuff would you do? We do a lot of influencer marketing. So we work with different influencers on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. Oh. Right. Um, yeah, me. Well, yeah. just give us a call. Eh? Right, <laughs> got you. So we connect them with brands because I realized that influencers, they're not particularly good with like operations or business. They just like to post content not and develop here. content. We're going to talk after this, by the right? way. <laughs> and, and that's fine. Like Influencers, they should focus on what they do best. And right. then brands, they shouldn't have to like, Mix. you know. Yeah, they, they don't need to spend their time trying to negotiate and like waste their time and try and set things up. So I want to build a bridge between those two. And right. that's what I did. I love that. There's so much connecting that you do. Right, I'm like the middleman, and um, I guess like brokering deals, that's yeah. a good way to put it. <laughs> Did you ever think of, go are you in school right now? No, I left school. Um, I, I wanted to do a pre-med course and be a doctor, and I realized I'm not good at school. <laughs> 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 at least you realize early, baby. And, and it's fine, like I, I think that I shouldn't dismiss school as a path, but I also don't want to like leave school as the only option. Yeah. And I feel like for a lot of younger people, especially people my age and from an Asian household, there's mm -hmm. like a expectation to, you know, you need to beat this, this, this to make a this amount of money, start a family. And there's like a timeline that our, our parents built for us already. Mm -hmm. And I want to get away from that. I don't Definitely wanna, in the uh, Asian culture as right. well. It's, there's a lot of like, I guess like more obligations to be a doctor or like a Lawyer. higher level. Right, right. Mm -hmm. And it's not just like, I'm not okay. targeting these Asian people. It's just literally what we grew up like learning to do yeah mm -hmm. so i was like you know what instead of doing this path i want to set my own path and yeah i hear you oh, I hear yeah. listen latinos are the same right way. The i, I, I would understand way. but you know i think there's a lot of like common grounds oh, yeah. different cultures Absolutely. yeah that's very cool yeah. do you have any friends who have done the same thing um like after a while you start meeting people in this circle but in the beginning there wasn't really a lot mm -hmm. um so i started early on 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 the internet so i met a lot of people from different walks of life from different areas so locally in my high school there's not a lot of people that do what i do but once you're on the internet you're connected with like-minded people people with common interests mm -hmm. so we start connecting there so sometimes i host meet up in new york sometimes i host meet, meet up in new mexico and like just bring all my friends together that do what i do let me, let me ask you a question <gasps> seeing that you're so intelligent but yet you're so young have you ever gotten pushback because of your age have people been like what do yeah. you know you're like 15 you're 16 what do you know yeah so um when i first started my business i used my mom's name yeah <laughs> um, and her like with her permission like she gave me like yeah. permission to like start a bank account um because mm -hmm. all those things you can't do when you're 15 like yep. at my age there's not much you can do so i could like i faked an identity not like another person but i was like i'm 18 mm -hmm. i'm actually not 15 um <laughs> and and like you know people do that for like catfish and whatever i do that for business i want to make <laughs> nice there's a big difference between like you know what i do and what other people do yeah of course. um and then yeah so i think there's a lot of credibility tied to your age and when people think 15 and when people think of 18 there's a drastic difference of maturity mm -hmm. yes but i felt that like personally i felt that at 15 i was mature enough to act as an 18 year old because i was operating business and whatnot so in that sense, I was like, it makes sense for me to be an 18 on mm -hmm. 
on the internet. Have you had battles with your ego? Um, once in a while, like obviously, oh, I'm doing great, but I think that once I get too comfortable, I start slowing down. Mm. Ah. Like I like to be in a constant state of, I guess, hunger. Uh -huh. um, in a sense that there's bigger things to, for me to like target on and to reach. Talking about hunger, I there's love There's a this. ramen here. We have three packages, but it's not really ramen. Well, we else. will uh, talk about this when we come back. We gotta go, we'll be right back with Jason <laughs> Wong. He brought us one of his products. Now, it <laughs> says here, Dank Tank Ramen Noodle Condoms. All right. Wait, what? There are cooking directions, and it says, number one, get consent. Yes. <laughs> number two, Pinch the tip of the condom, not your pee pee. <laughs> and three, roll down the rim. All right, oh, so yes. you're, teaching, you're teaching everyone how to use one of these. Is it really shrimp flavor? No, they're not. Oh. No, no, not I was all. about to say, okay. listen, I'm not getting a shrimp flavor condom up there. Wow. <laughs> so tell us about how, you, what were you thinking? <laughs> Um, I saw a picture, it was like a funny picture someone posted of like an actual ramen seasoning packet of like a corner ripped off and they're like, my mom thought I was using condom but I was just having like ramen seasoning packet in my wallet. <laughs> but some, something along that line and I was like, that's really funny, I should actually make a ramen condom. Yeah. <laughs> and it was pretty easy to make. It's basically just like it's an actual condom that's functional, it's from an actual manufacturer of condoms, I basically just changed like designs for it. Yeah. So it's fully functional, it's tested. And, and yeah. they do look like the packets that you get yeah. for seasoning yes. inside yeah, a ramen. Um, I'm gonna read the back. It's so funny. <laughs> it says in the nutrition nutrition facts, serving size, whatever works. <laughs> and um, there's no sugar, no alcohol, no protein, but 100% love. Aww. Hello. And it says a protection for your noodle. This is great. Did These you come with all this? Yeah, I wrote everything. You wrote this whole thing? Yeah. How many people work with you? 15 right now. Wow. Yeah. wow. So Anybody younger than you? A lot, actually. Okay. I, I actually really focus on hiring younger people because personally I feel that younger people, they're at a disadvantage of getting hired mm -hmm. due to a lack of experience. So um, I don't just randomly hire people based on their age. Obviously, they have merit, right? Um, so a lot of our designers, our product researchers, trend researchers, um, they're around like high school, college age because they do have a lot more time to do like, extracurriculars and it helps them build their portfolio for their next job. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Do you do you find that maybe there will be a, a time runs out on your products? A lot of the products that Dank Tank offers mm -hmm. are, um, you know, something that you would see in Spencer's or yeah. Hot Topic. These fun ideas. When when do you think? What how's the longevity for kind of products like this? Right. So right now, what we're trying to build is like a a product vertical in the sense that there's ramen condoms and then we can do like mayo edition, ketchup edition. <laughs> uh, we have a uh, meme con uh, not. Con candles and then in the candles we have like different scents mm -hmm. and then we have meme socks we have meme like everything so when one product dies out we have like another addition of it so it's building up like a vertical of it so like it, it kind of combats the whole like oh maybe this meme will die in two weeks or three weeks but yeah. by that time we have a new product already anything you're working on right now that you're super excited about we're doing a board game <gasps> no. oh, nice. yeah. any uh, ramen <laughs> no, sadly, no, but m maybe I'll get that like a side of like a, you know, add on. Yeah, that's like a bonus question. Let, let me right? ask you something. Did, did you, I mean, obviously you just told us the story of how you came up with this, but in the back of your mind, were you trying to hide your condoms from your mama? Uh, that, <laughs> no, my mom's not really like, you know, into my personal life. <laughs> but my parents are like really, um, they're really cool about it. Like, I got on national news in Hong Kong two days ago. Oh, wow. It's like on the front cover of like the biggest Hong Kong newspaper. Cool. And like, obviously my whole family sees it. But like, my mom's side of the family was kind of like not talking about it. Because oh. <laughs> like, the headline literally says 20 year old makes the hottest selling condoms. <laughs> So like, I, I think as an Asian household, it's not something that you would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> look at my, my son, right? Yeah. So um, my mom's side was kind of like, okay, that's cool, like I'm, I'm happy. My dad's <laughs> side was like, the group chat was blowing up. Like my parents yeah. are divorced, so like, you can yeah. see like the yeah. whole the different side. Oh, yeah. So last question, have you used these? Y yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> New headline for you, okay? 20 year old uses shrimp flavored condom and it works.